What is the first song you wrote for uh, for this album? It's you, the first you, single. The first single? Yeah. That's Fever. No, the name of a baby. Okay, I thought it was Fever. No, it's a double A single, so of course you're right, it's hard to decide. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the name of a baby. Okay. You remember where and when you wrote that? Yeah, exactly. And I wrote it in a, a little studio in Berlin uh, at 9.45. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just playing chords and I sat there and I said, okay, now I'm writing. And uh, I knew that I want to write a kind of a um, thank you song for the rock and roll for this baby that I had always with me, or in me. And uh, yeah, I wrote Name of a Baby, I don't know, I think in, in one night, but I had like 15 different versions. Okay, so, so it's really a tribute to music. Yeah. So, okay. And um, yeah, and when was it? Do you remember? I guess it was, from now on, I guess it was like two years ago. Okay, so it was after the Guana Wave? Yeah. I mean, not immediately like after the band, but I guess half a year or something later, I wrote that song. And in that, in that half year before, you, you didn't write any songs, but did you have an, you wanted to do an album on yourself? Yeah, the first, the, the first half year, I mean, I moved to Berlin and I really just wanted to do um, um, no music in front of the business thing. I really shut the doors and I uh, locked myself into the studio sometimes and I really wanted to uh, get back to my music and to find my music uh, in the studio, but very slow and very sensitive. I didn't want to push myself, you know, because I always was pushing myself and we were so overall pace everywhere and touring everywhere that I really needed a little break and time for really find my own music. So you're saying you maybe you had lost yourself a little bit over the years? Or no, no I, mean, I never lost myself but I felt uh, that it was wrong to it would be a wrong decision if I would stay there like it was. I really wanted to go on with my search, if you can call it like that. And uh, I, the achievement to grow as a person and as a mu musician, I couldn't do that in that um, area somehow. I don't know why, but it was like that. It felt. It felt. It felt limited to you uh, in a certain way. Or? Maybe, maybe somehow stuck just into one into one uh, case, you know, and I I felt it was wrong somehow and I, I really had to go away first of all of that, leave, leave this basement and ground and whatever, even if everybody was saying, oh my God, how can you do that, you were blah, 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 this is so good and I mean, we're so successful and it's, it's a lot of fun, why, why do this, la la la, but I couldn't really explain, it was just a feeling. You, you never f felt any regrets that you left the band? Never, never, and I will never. <laughs> and because? Because I'm, I'm just following my heart, like I always did, and uh, this has nothing to do with success or with pressure or whatever, it's just uh, I follow my own path, you know? And, and uh, I'm happy with that. Of course, it's, it was a very hard decision to make because it was like all my life was around this circle. But, um, and I felt unsure and I was also scared in the beginning, but I knew I have to do it, so I did it. And I was, uh, yeah, I was really happy that I did it. 